my daughter should be home from school any minute. And I'm gonna step inside and surprise her today with our very first deer hunt. So Campbell, you know, for the last couple years, you've been asking me about wanting to deer hunt. Sit up here, I wanna to talk to you for a second. You've been wanting to deer hunt for a long time, right? Yeah. And every single year when you've wanted to go deer hunting, you've had a volleyball tournament. Well, this year, you know, because of coronavirus, you don't have a volleyball tournament. You don't have but a volleyball. you're gonna be out of town. But I'm out of town. So I feel really bad because I know you've been wanting to deer hunt and unfortunately I can't take you. And I really want to be there for your first hunt, but I don't want to hold you back either. So what if I told you I got you something? What if I told you I got you this? You know what that is? That is your license and it's your deer tags. And I got you a new hunting jacket. This is me. Yep. And some hunter, cool. uh, some hunter's orange, and a new shirt. And guess what? I can... Guess what? What? Miss Rachel, who you've been going and shooting with. We're gonna squeeze as slow as possible, okay? Miss Rachel is gonna take you this Sunday, and you get to go on your very first deer hunt. Are you excited? Yeah. And I will be getting home right about the time you guys get out of the stand. So if you get a deer, I'll be able to come there and help you out. Yeah. Well, Rachel, I can tell you that Campbell is pretty excited to be going deer hunting with you. Chad, that's awesome. I've known Campbell a long time, and I'm so grateful you asked me to mentor her for a first hunt, and I'm just as excited as she is to get out there. Campbell, are you excited? Today's the day. Yeah. And we're going on what? What are we doing today? We're going on my first hunt. First hunt, and what are yeah. we gonna try to harvest today? Um, a deer. Yeah, a deer. Mm -hmm. Taking a kid on a hunt is not only a fun experience for the kid, it's also a great teaching opportunity. Exactly. There's some deer scat. Yeah. Right there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and the ground blind's right around the corner here. Sound good? Yeah. You ready? Yes. Good. She's still really far away, it might be 300 yards. 
squirrels. She's far. Yeah. There's a squirrel with her. Yeah. She looks bad and happy out there. She's eating, but hopefully she'll eat this way towards us. It looks like a big doe. Look through your scope. See if you can find her. There's a fun buck. Here it comes. Go ahead and ease your safety off. It'll be in range once it's to the top of the hill. The butt bugs in the way, so we're just gonna wait for them to feed around in that food plot. This is kind of the key is keeping your nerves at bay. Having patience, okay? Okay. Just like we practice on the range. We're gonna take good shots. And when it's right, we're just gonna slowly squeeze the trigger and stop. It looks like just a couple more steps that way and you might have a shot right behind her shoulder, okay? Okay. She's turning. All right, you feel good? You on her still? Yep. All right, put it right in that pocket of her front shoulder. Just slowly squeeze the trigger like we practiced, okay? Okay. Good shot, Campbell. Did I get it? Yeah, you got her. Listen to her, listen to her. Just wait and listen. Well, Rachel, I was just getting back into town when I got a call from Campbell and told me she had just had shot, and man, she was excited. She definitely was excited. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hey, hon. Hey, guess what? What? We got one. You got one? Yeah. That is so exciting. Yeah. Well, Chad, as soon as Campbell shot, I was watching with my binoculars. I knew she made a great shot and that the blood trailing was probably going to be a pretty great learning experience for her. We started her right at the hit site. She was the first to find blood right away. Here, I see blood. We talked about where the deer went into the brush at, and she led us right to it. There it is. <laughs> Way to go, girl. Good job. That's a big old doe. Rachel, obviously it was an experience that I would have liked to have been there for. I'm so happy that you were able to take her. Tell me a little bit about what mentoring a hunt meant to you. Well, I mean, it's really special. You know what your first deer's like. I think I was shaking more than Campbell was as soon as she shot, I couldn't get my nerves in order. For year after year, Campbell's wanted to go. We haven't been able to put it together. And you stepped right in and you've made it a lasting memory for her. So I can't thank you enough. Well, it was a lasting memory for me too, Chad. It's something that I think everybody would enjoy if they just take a kid or an adult out hunting.